guys, Anthony here for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. Joined once again in the studio by Kenta from the Digital Imaging team. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, looks like we have an update to your camera binocular hybrid products yes. here. Yes. Tell me about this guy. So you saw it at CES. Now mm -hmm. it's not just a chunk of metal. It's finally here. <laughs> That's true. All I saw, I saw like a machined block of metal at CES. Compared to this predecessor, um, we made really great improvements here. Um, first of all, as you can see, it's about 30% lighter and smaller. Um, you also have an upgrade with the EVFs. Now it has OLED EVFs. Oh, nice. Yeah, built-in GPS. You know, you have a cold shoe here, you know, to just name a few, really. Cool. So this is replacing the DEV 3 and 5. Mm -hmm. uh, what's what's the product name for this one? This is the DEV 50. Okay. So uh, above and beyond, you know, adding, I mean, EVF is a huge, huge mm -hmm. difference. We've got GPS, mm -hmm. size difference. What else are we looking at in terms of difference in specs between the 3 yeah. and the 5? So first and foremost, this is a binocular, mm -hmm. right? So it's a digital binocular. So it has a... a, a zoom ratio, magnification of 0.8 all the way to 12x optical. Wow. And then if you include the digital zoom, you get all the way to 25x. Very so it's cool. amazing. As, as somebody who's just looking at the two of them, you would think that there was a uh, an advantage to using a straight up optical binocular to using something that had, you know, EVFs and a, and a bunch of digital components in it. But this actually can gather more light and give a clearer picture. Is that the deal? Correct. And on top of that, you get to record as well. So how does it actually go about gathering more light than a regular binocular? So um, the, the secret behind this is all in the image sensor, right? So we have Exmor R image sensors, two of them actually, and they're really sensitive in low light. So um, your binoculars may work really well in broad daylight, but once it becomes really dark, then you're going to have a lot of trouble. You're going to need really expensive binoculars. So we're talking ABC HD, uh, no MP4 on this one? No MP4. Um, ABC HD delivers really good, high quality video files. So that's why we're using that. So awesome. 2D and 3D capture and also playback as well. So when you're looking through like this, mm -hmm. you can actually look at it in 3D, and which is really neat. So this is a still camera as well, right? What's Correct. the resolution on that? Yeah, you can t take still pictures with this. Um, it's using the two image sensors, mm -hmm. so you get a combined of 20.4 megapixel still images. Nice, and could you do a 3D still on this as well? Correct, yeah. What we have is an uh, optical image stabilization. Nice. Works very well, very fast. So, so that's cool. cool. So image stabilization is not just something that turns on when you're recording video or when you're taking a photo. This is something that you can use just It's always standard. on. So these are binoculars. You're mm -hmm. outdoors with them. You're in all kinds of weather, but yep. they have camera components inside. How rugged are these when you have them outside? These are really rugged, and we have a, a new standard uh, for these. Um, this passed the test for IP54. So that what that means is the five um, for IP, it means uh, dust protection, so it's uh, dust proof. Okay. And then the four is the water component. So it, splashing water on this camera will be fine. Okay, so you don't want it out in a hurricane, but if no. you're out at a sporting event and it starts raining, you're, perfect, you're fine. perfectly fine. Cool. Okay, so these are first and foremost binoculars, but mm -hmm. they are also a video camera, a still camera. Mm -hmm. I think about inputs and outputs yep. when I'm recording video. What do I have here? What are my options? So on DB50, we have uh, HDMI ports. So you can directly feed out your video Nice. with the HDMI. You also can record um, ex using the external mic input right here. Nice. And then hear it with the, uh, the uh, headphone jack right there as well. And obviously you can play it back in the binoculars to get that 3D look as well. So. Very cool. So tell me, uh, when are we going to be able to get our hands on these and how much are they going to cost? These are coming out in June uh, for $2,000.